Welcome to Redbeard and the Den of Tools. Howdy ho guys and gals, we're doing a walkthrough of the upper end Walmart here in Las Vegas. And we're in the lot and garden section, we got the blowers, yeah I know, someone will make the joke, it blows. We got gas and electric, we got the HyperTuff and the Works, looks like they're both $84. Uh, HyperTuff's got the two cycle as well as the electric. We've got the Black & Decker and the HyperTuff 7.5 amp. Coming in at $37.45 there for the Black & Decker. Uh, and, you know, I got to say, this whole new Jet-style uh, blower, they do put out some of uh, the, uh, I don't know, how do you measure the air? The PSI just seems to, to be kind of a, uh, a an under-measurement, but I guess that's kind of how they do it. Anyway, these things really blow, <laughs> let's put it that way. And here we got the higher end, the 40-volt and the 20-volt in the HyperTuff. And uh, we got 114 there for the 40 volt. And the way HyperTuff's getting the 40 volt is literally by just snapping two batteries on it. You see, they've done the same thing here with the uh, the chainsaw. We've got a 20 volt and then the 40 volt that just has two batteries on it. String trimmers, uh, I, they do it there too. 40 volt string trimmer. I was going to say, you know, I don't know if they have a need for it, but apparently some people have got some tough grass out there. You got a pressure washer as well. And here we can actually take a look at the chainsaws. They do have a lot of the same and similar stylings as we see on the works and on the bower that's coming out. But they were noticeably different. And then next to it, we got the uh, the hedge trimmer there. But again, better shot here. You can see how they do the battery system. The the 40 volt, the batteries are up higher. I, I don't know. I guess that might help with the balance. I don't know. And, uh, and for some reason, the... Uh, the higher end stuff seemed to be a little bit more red than the basic stuff. Maybe it was just, you know, my viewpoint on it. But uh, and there we got the 40 volt uh, blower versus the 20 volt blower. There's the 40 volt trimmer. Uh, they're hyper tough. I mean, and, and understand hyper tough is a Walmart brand. Okay. This is their own brand. And, but they've really been expanding this lineup. And if you're already invested in it, you got to be happy with this because man, they, they got pretty much everything you're going to need for your basic kind of stuff. All right, now let's head over to the tools section. I've got my new trolley. I got I was looking at a filming like how to how to film better with the uh, the gimbal. So, let's see if you can figure out what my trolley system is here. Anyway, again, everything's behind glass. It makes it nice and pretty. You don't have to worry about your typical Walmart thing where everything's strewn about. But I don't know about you guys, but I like to walk in, see what I want, and get it, and leave. I don't like the idea of having to, like, look through glass, like I'm at the zoo, and then have to go and chase somebody down to talk to them. And then, of course, they don't they don't have the key, and then we have to get the key from them. Uh, as you can see, they've really expanded their, uh, their, their air hose accessories there. And I was surprised to see this. We've got not one but two uh, <laughs> impact wrenches. I don't have any experience with them. Maybe you do. Maybe you can chime in down below. The storage systems here, I was excited. I was hoping to find some stuff that was more of a system where it interlocked and everything. I didn't find anything like that. Uh, you know, I and I'm always drawn to these, the metal cabinets, especially ones with the drawers. But I also know in the back of my head that the plastic ones are going to last longer. They just, they take the beating better. You know, they bounce rather than just bending. And here we got the air compressors. We got the, the CH there for 189, uh, and then the uh, a Briggs and Stratton there for I think it was 90 some dollars, and then we got some more of the hot dog style compressors there. But as you can see, nice and neat and clean, everything well displayed. It was a fun store to uh, to go shopping in, and uh, some of you also lucked out and got those uh, pressure washers when they were on sale. Be sure to check out Brickseek to see if maybe they're having a sale in your area. They were about 90% off. Here's another thing I'm looking to, to try that Stanley uh, shop vac right there. I like the little cart that it's built on. I may have to pick one of those up. I'm looking for a new uh, shop vac. I know, I know everyone says get the rigid, but I'm stubborn. You know, I like to try stuff that people haven't tried so then I can let you know whether it's good to get or not. And I know we talked about the uh, tool or the truck boxes over at Lowe's. They've got them now at, uh, at Walmart. Here we're back over in the automotive accessories. They got tie downs and straps. They've got some cheap ones, but they've got some decent ones too. I've not used the HyperTuff brand, 
but I have used uh, t uh, tie down straps from Walmart. And, uh, you know, basically, I hate to say it, but it's one of those cases where you get what you pay for. It's not my favorite saying, but it certainly applies to tie down straps. I've yet to find a magic area where I can buy cheap tie down straps and not have them fray on me. And the light bars. I'm sorely tempted to get one of these just to see what it's like. And we get some more tow accessories the electric winch, the adjustable tow bar, um, uh, the jack utility. I really recommend getting the one with the wheel on it. it. Makes it if you're using a utility trailer much easier to to uh, to move it around, and it really changed how I can use my utility trailer. Oh, look at that nice little trolley jack there, and there's the uh, the Z creeper that folds into a seat. That's a nice little idea. I like that. I haven't tried any of the jack stands or the ramps for from uh, Home Depot, or not Home Depot, sorry, from Walmart. Now the lights. I've had a lot of guys tell me that they've invested in these lights and they really like them. I've not tried any of the hyper tough lights. I can't really speak on them. On the Stanley down there, we have the big one there, the 1000 watt. I got that when we got our, our RV. Uh, and boy, it throws a beam and it's nice because it's rechargeable. So you don't have to go searching for batteries and whatnot. And then the halogen, if you, man, I hate halogen. I don't know why anybody would use halogen these days. I, I, I guess just for extreme, you know, cheapness. And it's funny to think of halogen as being cheap uh, when you've been around, but that's the case. And they're, the rest of their automotive accessories, kind of a, a mini auto zone here, if you will. They got all the, the cheesy, you know, license plate covers and steering wheel covers and all the decals and stuff for your ride, as well as, you know, actually some of the car seats. I've used some of the car seats. They're not bad. They've got some decent ones there. They've got some cheap ones too, but they've got some that can that can hold up. We've we used them in our uh, our Yukon uh, back in the day, and they work fairly well. Again, we got more of the accessories, floor mats, the Betty. Who has the Betty Boop? I see those all over. Every time I go to Walmart, I see those things. But anyway, that's all we got for now. You all take care, and as always, shine on.